Hey guys, it's your best boxing friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel, the fight of the century. Century, century. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3. Not only does it, we now have to wait until next century, but it's going to happen in July. What do you think? I thought that was really quick turnaround. Like, even if both parties already knew, it just, it seems super fast to me. Like, isn't it part of boxing marketing to, like, be like, when is the fight going to be? Yeah. Or is that unintentional all this time? <laughs> yeah. My first impression when I heard it was, why? Why would they fight again? I think that we have... Well, I have that, but doesn't it seem clear that Wilder... Is not making is good like choices? <laughs> affected by this and maybe like a way, I don't know, yeah. that See, isn't healthy or maybe best... Yeah, the story I make up is that he's that's why really over-identifying with his ego, which we all... Do. I've done that. Rachel's done that. Every human being does that. Do it every and day. so, yeah, it seems really important. I, it's, of course, as a professional fighter, as a great champion, he's going to want to get his belt back. But I would argue that this is not the way to do that. He absolutely deserves a rematch. He held the title for five years, like half a decade. That's something. But if he really wanted to give himself a bet, this best chance to win, uh, he would need to do things like mm, not fire his best trainer for saving him in the seventh round in a fight that the referee was about to stop the fight too. He would have to do things like, well, who gives me the best chance to win a fight? Who should I look at that can help me work on the things that I need to work on before the next fight? What kind of fights can I get between then that are going to help me work on those things before I get back in the ring with uh, the clearly better boxer Tyson Fury who had looked better than he had ever looked, and he beat the brakes off me in the second fight, and he boxed my ears off in the first fight when Fury came back from two and a half years out of sport, had how many comeback fights, I think two, and then Wilder. He's a lot better than he was back then, and he proved it, and I don't think that this is the way for Wilder. If you're just always going to rely on being able to punch hard, eventually, in professional boxing, that ain't going to work. It's not going to work in the third fight either. Yeah. So he, I mean, he, he carried it as long as he could, right? And then he yeah, had a guy it, who it didn't work on. And it didn't work, you know, twice, right? Like yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. what I thought was maybe a way forward, which I just want to say, not me, not anybody, not Wilder. Nobody knows like what, what his future holds. Yeah. So like we can all make guesses at <laughs> like what's best, but like none of us know. And so... But when I had, like, thought in my head, well, what's the way forward for, for Wilder? Is I thought, you know what? If I were Wilder, just let go of that immediate rematch and just let it go. And be like, you know what? No, I'm going to let that go. And focus on, okay, who else can I fight? What else can I do in the heavyweight division? Because here's what I want to do. I want to work. I want to get better. I want to do, like, whatever. And then make myself... Like, hey, Fury, you have to fight me again. This isn't because I put it, have like a clause for an immediate yeah. rematch. Just like I've now made myself again. I've come back in the sport and made myself where you're going to look like whatever if you don't fight me. Yeah. And I thought that was a, 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 a way. That's what was in my head when I thought of the ways forward for him. Yeah, the only legitimate case I think that could make for immediate rematch is I want to fighting the biggest fight because I want as much money as humanly possible, right? That yeah. would make sense because I'm 34 and I want to do that now because I can do it by just enacting the clause. Okay, that's true. But you also are, are Al Heyman managed fighter and Al Heyman notoriously gets his fighters all sorts of TV dates all over on various platforms and gets them paid very well. So I don't think that it wasn't like I better do this or I'm not going to have anything else. He was right. going to have something else. So I don't like the move for Wilder. I do think that at least as fast as possible, minus what we all wanted, which was Fury versus Anthony Joshua, it does give us a path, a quick path, to a possibility of crowning the undisputed champion, which could happen maybe by the end of the year if both Fury and Joshua win their fights. Joshua's next fight is against Kubrick Pulev, also this summer, and so maybe we can settle it all by the end of the year. By December. That would be really, really nice. And so, and that's what I see like happening. If anything, this immediate rematch with, with Wilder allows Fury to just solidify himself as, yeah, not only did I beat this guy, I beat him again and sound like if that's what I see yeah, happening. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, what else I, I could be wrong. You know, Wilder could, it could just be completely different. 
and and that's okay you know what i mean so i guess when i like i am very well aware that this is very important to wilder well because we're both beyonce wilder fans like special, i like Beyonce wilder it's emotional <laughs> i followed his career his whole life <laughs> So I would never want like any of this to be like I'm being dismissive yeah. or don't care about somebody. I appreciate like everything that like he's done in the sport and it's just my opinion. It's my opinion about what the future holds. Yeah, it's also his career. He gets to choose what he wants to do and I'll sure watch him and support him and whatever he chooses to do. Just like we know that you will like and support us and anything that we choose to do, right? That's anything, what, anything at all. Anything at all. Remember what? it. You will be safe in my new kingdom. What? <laughs> I don't even know what you're referencing. A new dictatorship. <laughs> That's the office. He's like, ah. <laughs>